lot of you guys have already seen my Dota 1 Zeus juking clip, and for this week's Fun Friday, I'm going to show you a video that will hopefully let you do some sweet, sweet jukes of your own. Hey guys, this is Merlini. I'm going to show you which trees are useful to eat uh, close to T1 towers, so you can carve yourself out some nice little paths with tangos or a quelling blade. And I'm going to limit this to one or two tango spots. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the Radiant T1 on the top side. So you can hide into here, but often this will op just trap yourself and you'll die. Uh, you can actually eat this Tango mm -hmm. and make yourself a nice little circle uh, to juke around and fog. Uh, if you have some extra Tangos and this spot way. isn't enough for you, you can eat two more trees and make an even larger figure eight. 30 seconds to battle. Um, trees to avoid eating, you should you should almost never eat in this tree in particular shade. just so you can uh, fog over here. If heroes are chasing you, you just duck behind the tower, hide behind this tree, shady. and you can go in here for uh, even more fog. Uh, so you can also eat some trees near the side shop. Uh, this one actually takes two tangos um, the battle to begins. make this a circular path. Um, of course, of you should know eyes. about uh, these trees. You can eat pretty much uh, either of these two trees, mm -hmm. so you can pull this neutral camp um, into the lane. And if you're a ranged hero, sometimes you eat that, eat this tree just so you can get vision of the by camp my from far away, so you can pull from further. Uh, and calls. for dire side in this particular area, you can um, so I go. eat trees over here to make yourself a pretty large circle. And closer mm -hmm. to the tower, Your you can actually eat two trees to get to this yes. uh, area behind the dire tower. Your top and is usually there's only one way in and one way out, which is where I'm second. going right now. However, you can eat this singular tree to make yourself a, a nice escape route. Uh, to the bottom side of the tower, there's only pretty much one relevant tree. Uh, it's this My area over here, and that's just a slightly travel faster in between the um, a dire T1 in this area over here, whether you're doing use or something like that. Uh, you can eat these trees, Path to Freedom, if you want to backstab the tower, but that requires more than uh, one tango, one or two tangos. So in the mid lane, uh, people generally eat these trees or these trees just because of their proximity to the creeps, so you don't miss last hits. However, uh, if you can delve a little bit deeper, you can go in here and eat two trees for Path of Freedom. Uh, you can also eat this one and do some slick jukes. Uh, as far as the right side, there's not too many good ones. I would advise uh, against eating this one right here, just because this one is very, very useful for fog, and you can eat uh, most of so these over here. For the dire side, dire side is very limited in usefulness. Uh, you can like carve yourself out like a pocket for fog here if you really wanted to, uh, but that's not terribly useful in practice, although I did see Arteezy juke some the ones there. Uh, this side, the only relevant one is this tree, yeah. so you can buy something from the side shop. Um, let's see, and then Radiant bottom side, you have... Uh, it pretty much goes like this. This is the path or a mouse outlines is free to travel. Uh, so sometimes you find yourself in this sticky spot. Eat these two trees, run to the left. You're home free. In Sylvan and shade. as far as the right side goes, sometimes you find yourself in this sticky spot. You can just eat a tree and way. run. Again, path to freedom. Um, trees of somewhat limited usefulness. Ooh, this one, lane. it's slightly easier to see and pull this camp and not get fogged when you uh, pull. Uh, you can eat one of these trees if you want easier access, but if you're radiant, generally you don't want to do it. Dire, you do, because uh, it'll allow you to backstab someone who's farming creeps over here, especially a melee hero. Um, other trees close to the tower. Uh, this is like a fairly large U. You can make it a slightly smaller U by eating this tree over here. And Dire T1 has uh, a few more tricks. 
Uh, there's this circular path over here. However, uh, you can incorporate it into this larger path over here. This um, sideways T juke spot. If you eat this tree, and then you have free travel in between the two. Uh, also, if you somehow find yourself in a really sticky situation where you're over here, you just eat this tree, run next to the T2. And as far as the left side, left side there's already a lot of paths, so you don't need to uh, eat any you specific trees. Uh, so attack. hopefully that covers most of it for your early game. I chose to only cover T1s in this video because that's generally where you're going to have your uh, tangos. I'll cover jungles your and other burning. spots in a later video. Thank you guys for watching, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Thank you guys once again.